is me, Miss Jenna here. Happy Wednesday. And I was thinking, since we are learning about weather, we already learned about rain, but what happens after the rain? You can kind of see in the background right now that the sun comes out, but something else comes out too when it's after it's raining after a few days. The sun comes out, what else comes out? <gasps> the rainbow or a rainbow comes out like this. So we're going to read Wonders of Nature, Rainbows, by Diana, and I'm going to do the best of pronouncing this because I'm not the best of pronouncing it, but as an education, we're always learning. It's R-A-U, so raw. So, again, we're going to learn about rainbows and all the beautiful colors and where we can see them. Cool question before I start. Has anyone ever seen a rainbow before? In person, not in books? or in pictures like in real life looking outside their window i have and it was absolutely beautiful i loved it so much but let's see how they come up here we talked about the rain but can we see rainbows somewhere else besides after a rainstorm let's read and find out you can make a rainbow you can what on the next sunny day spray the garden hose you will see a rainbow in the water wow there it is the boy's playing in this garden at his house he made a rainbow just from the water you might see a rainbow in the spray from a fast boat. You might see a rainbow in a fountain. Has anyone ever been on a boat before? I have. When you're on a boat, you have to wear a life vest. When, so when you don't fall in, you have to be very careful. You might see a rainbow in a waterfall. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all those different colors. A rainbow needs light and water to form. We see rainbows when sun and rain are in the sky at the same time. Oh, look at that. The sun shines th through the raindrops to make the rainbow. Oh, boys and girls, look. There's a rainbow. But a volcano. Oh, that's really cool. The best time to see a rainbow is late in the day in summer. Near the end of a rainstorm, the sun may start to come out. Stand outside so that the sun is between you and the rain is in front of you. You might be able to spot a rainbow in the sky. <gasps> I'm gonna do this experiment. You should try to in your home. And after a rainy day, let's like the past couple of days, go right outside, get your rain boots on, and look up in the sky. You may find one. Maybe a, meteor a meteorologist, that's someone who talks about the weather. The rainbow got its name because it is shaped like a bow of a bow and arrow. Long ago, some people thought it was a bright, Bridge or path from the earth to the sky. That is so cool. A rainbow looks curved to people on the ground. That is because a rainbow is part of a circle. That is so cool. If you were in an airplane, the rainbow might be full, might be a full circle you would be part of that point in the middle. <gasps> so when you're flying in the airplane, you'll see a rainbow in a circle. Not like that. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> Light is always traveling from the sun to the earth. Light does not seem to have a color, but light is, a very, is really made up of lots of colors. You can see all the lights colors with a prism. Can we all say prism? 
prism. A prism is a clear block with three sides. Prisms are made of plastic or glass. Another one, three sides up. This is a prism right here. It has three sides. I'm gonna show you three. Sunlight goes through a prism. The prism bends, and the, bends the light. It breaks the light into all of its colors. <gasps> look at that, look at all the colors it's making. <gasps> what colors do you see? I see red, purple. Oh, look at all the different colors. The colors in sunlight are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, that's a fancy word, and violet. Oh, indigo. A raindrop bends light like a prism. The sunlight goes into the, to the, the round raindrop. Then it bounces off the back of it of the raindrop. It comes out divided. I've been saying divided, divided into all of its colors. Whoa, that's cool. The colors in a rainbow are always the same. Red is always on the top curve of the rainbow. Violet is always on the bottom. Wow. Sunlight shines through the millions of raindrops in the sky. Each drop breaks the light into the raindrop colors. Millions of drops together make the rainbow. You can see. Wow, it's so cool. Look at all the different colors. When the rain ends, the rainbow starts to fade away. Then you have a clear, sunny sky. No more rainbow. The and wow, that was a really cool book. That is how rainbows are made. I bet you learned something new exciting today. That is really cool. Then go home and tell your parents and tell them how rainbows are made. So you have to stand outside after it rains and you gotta look up. So that's the end of our story for circle time today. I hope you all learned something new about rainbows. I sure did. Be back here tomorrow. Thursday for another story about the weather. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. I'm Miss Jenna. Bye!